you. So uh, let's move on to uh, the question that goes, if one can accept that God has no beginning or end, is it possible to make the same assumption of the universe, implying that it needs not be created? There are two ways in which something can be without beginning or end. One way would be to endure through infinite time, from infinite past to the infinite future then you would be without beginning or end. The other way to be without beginning or end is to transcend time altogether, not to exist in time. Something that does not exist in the dimension of time has neither beginning nor end. So when theologians say that God is eternal, they have typically meant that God is timeless. He transcends time. And this is implied by time having a beginning. If time and space had a beginning at a point in the finite past, then the cause of time must be beyond time, must be timeless. So God doesn't exist before the Big Bang. There is no such time. Rather, he exists beyond the Big Bang in the sense that he transcends time and brings space and time into existence. So God's existing timelessly doesn't confront the same sort of absurdities that are involved in the idea of an infinite past.